Hello friends, this video on surface area and volumes part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. A soft drink is available in two packs. The first is a tin can, something like this. With sorry, tin can, something like this, with a rectangular base of length 5 into 4. So this is 5, this is 4, and height of 15 centimeter. The other is the plastic cylindrical with a circular base of diameter 7 cm, so I'll make it as radius 3.5 cm and height of 10 cm. All the units are in cm, nothing to worry. Which container has a greater capacity? So we have to find the volume of a cuboid and the volume of cylinder and see which has a greater value. Right? So a rectangle can volume is equal to what L into V into H so the values 5 into 4 into 15 centimeter cube and if you solve it you get 300 centimeter cube similarly cylinder can volume is what pi r square H put the values 22 by 7 R is 3.5 square h is 10. You saw this, you get 385 centimeter cube. Thus, we can see that 385 centimeter cube is more than 300 centimeter cube. Thus, this has more capacity. The cylinder can has more capacity. Okay. The next question is the lat surface of the cylinder is 94.2 cm square the height is 5 cm find the radius and the volume so what is lateral surface lateral surface is what is 2 pi r h is the curved surface area let's put the value 94.2 cm square is 2 into 22 by 7 into r we don't know h is 5 cm this gets cancelled so what you get r as 3 cm so you got the value of r as 3 cm once you got the value of r first part is done second part is volume Find, finding volume is pretty easy so finding volume of a cylinder is pi r square h Let's put the value as 22 by 7, r is 3 square and h is 5. So, and this is all in centimeter, it will be in centimeter cube. So you will get 141.3 centimeter cube as the answer. Pretty easy. So here the lateral surface area was given and the height was given with that. We could actually find the value of radius. Once we have the value of radius, we already know the value of height. We can actually find the total volume of the cylinder. It costs 2200 to paint the inner curved surface area of a cylindrical vessel. So the cylindrical vessel, I am talking only about the inner surface, which is 10 meter deep. So the height is 10 meter. The radius is not given. And the cost of painting is rupees 2 per meter square. Right? So we can with that we can actually find the surface area. Inner surface area will be what? Cost total by cost per meter square. That is nothing but 2200 by rupees 20 per meter square. This gets cancelled and what you are left with 110 meter square. So this is the internal curved surface area of the vessel. The first part is done. Second part is radius of the base. So we can find that actually. So we know that internal surface area is nothing but 2 pi r h. So internal surface area we know is 110 meters square is 2 into pi is 22 by 7. R is something we don't know. H is 10 meter. 
So with that, if you solve, you get R as 7 by 4, that is 1.75 meter. Okay, so we could easily find the radius of the base. So once we have found the radius of the base, the second part, I have to find the capacity of the vessel. So capacity of the vessel is nothing but the volume of the cylinder. And that is nothing but pi r square h. So I know all the values now. Pi r is 7 by 4 square into h is 10. So you solve this, you get 96.25 meter cube. And that is the capacity. So if you want to find kiloliter, you can just say 1 meter cube is 1 kiloliter. You can also say 96.25 kiloliter. Okay. The capacity of a closed cylindrical vessel of height 1 meter is 1 meter is 15.4 liters. So first thing is it is in meter and liters. Let's convert everything in meter. So one liter is equal to one by thousand meter cube, right? So this becomes fifteen point four by thousand meter. Okay, because how many square meters of metal sheet will be required? So everything is in meter. So let's convert everything in meter. So capacity of a closed cylindrical vessel of height uh, 1 is uh, given. So with that we can find the radius first. Okay. So volume of cylinder is given. Pi r square h and the volume is given to be 15.4 by 1000 meter cube. And that is nothing but pi 22 by 7 r square, r we don't know, h and meter. So you solve this, you get r as 0 0.07 meter. Okay. So we have got the value of r. Now the question is how many square meters of metal sheet will be required to make it? So it is a closed cylindrical vessel. This is closed. Please note it is a closed vessel. That means you have to take care of uh, this uh, top circular and the bottom circular base. Okay, so total curved surface area will be what? 2 pi r h plus pi r square. 2 pi r square, right? Because it's closed. So put all the values here. So 2 into 22 by 7 into r 0 0.07 into h is 10 or 1 meter. Is plus 2 into pi r square is 0 0.07 square. So you solve this, this will become 0 0.44, this will become 0 0.0308. The unit is meter square, you get 0 0.4708 meter square. So this many meter square of metal sheet will be required to make it. Okay. So please note this is 1 meter here. A lead pencil consists of a cylinder of wood, you see this is the lead pencil, with a solid cylinder of graphite filled in the interior. There is a graphite and this is also cylinder. The diameter of the pencil is given 7 mm. And the diameter of graphite is given that is 1 mm. Okay, this is the black question. If the length of the pencil is 114 cm, everything is in millimeter, so I can convert this 14 cm into millimeter, it becomes 140 mm. So I will make it 140 mm. So this is 140. The height is 140 mm. Find the volume of wood and that of graphite. See, Volume of graphite pretty easy to find. So volume of graphite is what? Cylinder, so it's pi r square h. 
the value pi r is what the diameter is uh, given it so all sine by 2 is given by 2 all the diameters are given r is 1 by 2 millimeter square h is 140 and it will be millimeter cube you saw the values you get 110 millimeter cube okay that is a volume of graphite volume of pencil the whole big pencil is what again pi r square h what is the value of pi 22 by 7 r is 7 by 2 and h is 140 and this will also be millimeter cube you saw this you get 5390 millimeter cube so volume of wood will be what see volume of wood is nothing but volume of pencil minus volume of graphite because pencil is nothing but graphite and wood correct so volume of pencil is what 5390 millimeter cube minus volume of graphite is 110 millimeter cube so you saw this you get 5280 millimeter so we got the volume of graphite we got the volume of wood pretty easy just understand that the pencil is made of graphite and wood so volume of pencil is nothing but volume of graphite plus volume of wood. a patient in a hospital is given soup daily and it is given in a cylindrical bowl please note it is a cylindrical bowl of diameter 7 cm so this is 7 by 2 cm and the bowl is filled to a height of 4 cm so this height is 4 cm how much soup the hospital has to prepare daily to serve 250 patients pretty easy first we have to find the volume of one soup that is nothing but the cylindrical pi r square h pi is 22 by 7 r is 7 by 2 square and h is the height of the soup that is 4 and this is all in centimeter it becomes centimeter cube you solve it you get 154 centimeter cube is the volume of soup one soup so volume of 250 soup is what it will be 250 into 154 centimeter cube and that is nothing but 38500 centimeter cube if you want to convert this into liter 1000 centimeter cube is equal to 1 liter so divide this by 1000 38500 by 1000 this becomes liters and this is nothing but 38.5 Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.